Kay and Larry have started looking at apartments in Panama City with 160 high-rise developments either in progress or ready to break ground. The number of options are a little overwhelming. The high-rise world in Panama, number one, it, it is the charm of, of Panama City. These towers will be, I think, very cosmopolitan. I think they're going to attract Europeans, U.S. citizens. Pretty much any kind of environment you want is going to be there. And with 160 of them on the books, that's pretty tremendous options. And I think they'll happen over the next probably two to five years. Many of the developments are still in the pre-sale or pre-venta phase. And buying an apartment or condo off-plan rather than after they are built can often save you an enormous amount of money. Fortunately, Kay and Larry have met many people, including our tour guide, Rene Guardiola, who have the inside scoop on some potential properties to help narrow their choices. It turns out Rene knows just about everyone in Panama City. Everywhere we went, Rene was waving and chatting with the locals, from garbage men to expats to diplomats. Clearly, he was the man to know in Panama, and we relied heavily on Rene's knowledge of the city and his network of contacts to make our way around this remarkable city. Well, after five years working in this, I had the chance to contact, you know, lawyers, realtors, people in the banks, uh, I assist uh, everybody in this kind of things. Finding honest people, people who really want to work and who, who really want to help the people that is coming to the country, it's what I, I think it's okay. Excellent. Well, um, I have to say that if you are coming down to Panama, this is the first man to try to find, but he's going to be very busy. Because if we're here, we've got him, all right? We promised you the pluses and the pitfalls. Well, the traffic is definitely one of the pitfalls. If you're driving, you have to be pretty aggressive in order to get anywhere at all, but also be extremely defensive because the cars will come at you from all directions. And as a pedestrian, well, just crossing the road can take a long time. Why did the chicken cross the road in Panama City? Because it clearly had a death wish. <laughs>